waking up at 3.50 a.m., taping your mouth shut, diving into ice baths, rubbing banana peels on your face, does any of this actually make sense? Today, I'm reacting to Ashton Hall's viral morning routine videos, which rack up millions of views thanks to their extreme discipline and shock value, but while some of his habits have a basis in science, others raise serious red flags. As a biotechnologist and a former athlete with 10 years of experience, I want to break this down and share a balanced perspective. Let's start with nasal breathing, a practice that's actually backed by science. Breathing through your nose improves oxygen efficiency and can positively affect heart rate and stress levels. However, taping your mouth shut at night isn't always safe. If you suffer from nasal obstructions, allergies or sleep apnea, this trend could put your health at risk. Then there's the ultra early wake up call, getting up before 4 am. While it might seem productive, it often means sacrificing deep sleep, especially during the crucial 11 pm to 3 am window. That's when your body releases the most growth hormone, essential for muscle recovery, brain function and cellular repair. Ice baths are another training tool, they can reduce inflammation and help with stress resilience, but the evidence on their long-term benefits, especially for skin or metabolic health, is still inconclusive. Now some of Ashton's habits actually do hold value. Using compression socks can aid circulation, especially during long periods of sitting or standing. His breathing meditations and journaling, excellent tools for managing stress and increasing focus. But when he starts rubbing banana peels on his face, I have to stop and say, I'm not a dermatologist, so if anyone knows of a real benefit, drop it in the comments. Let's talk food. His breakfast includes bread, which is fine. Carbs aren't the enemy. He seems to follow a low carb, high fat approach, possibly ketogenic, with foods like avocado, bacon and eggs. While this works for some, it's not a universal formula. Then there's the elephant in the room, his physique. Whether or not performance enhancing substances are involved is speculative. But one thing is certain, building that kind of body requires relentless consistency in training, recovery and diet. No shortcuts. And here's the key takeaway. It's not about copying someone else's extreme lifestyle. It's about understanding your own biology and building a routine that actually supports your health and goals. This video isn't just my opinion, it's a reminder to question what you see online. Be inspired, sure, but don't be misled. A great morning routine isn't about waking up the earliest or suffering the most, it's about working with your body, not against it. Tune into what helps you feel strong, focused and energized. That's how real, sustainable progress is made. Understand your body. Evolve every day.